Welcome to What's On Tap, episode number 26. I am your host, Derek Egler, here today to bring you something a little green since I am in a green mood, folks. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to bring you a little greenery to brighten your day. Now, today we are going to uh, bring a little bit of that funk, bring a little bit of that oomph. Bring a little dipsy doo dunkle roo um, to the party today. Um, and folks, yee-haw is in the house. And no, I have not become completely country on everyone. Um, I am just giving you a little proclamation to the yee-haw dunkle. Um, drink yee-haw beer. It is fine southern beer, folks. This coming to us from Yeehaw Brewing Company in Johnson City, Tennessee. I do appreciate that um, on my uh, most recent uh, expenditure or uh, my most recent trip. Um, I did happen to get the chance um, to be in Tennessee, Georgia, Florida. Um, so I brought back a little bit of something, something to the Midwest um, just to share with all of you um, and let you know, um, everyone watching, everyone out there, um, you know, there's a lot of different things out there that you guys can try, a lot of different things that um, you, gay, you, you guys may definitely enjoy. Um, I'm really doing this, bringing it to you guys just to let you guys know um, that, hey, think outside the box, get out there, try new things. You might like them, you might not. When you don't like something, guys, I'm the guy right here. Send it my way. I will pay for it. I will trade for it. Or out of the kindness of your heart, you can just give it to me. I am fine with whatever, guys. I love beer. I love trying new beers. Um, so if you try something I have not had, you don't like it, send it to me. I'll do a review on it, guys. I'll put it on here. Um, give you a big shout out. Um, and we'll go from there. But I'll definitely let everyone know what I think of everything, my honest opinions. Um, everything on this list, pretty darn good in my opinion. Um, there's been one rock bottom. I made that myself. So, hey, only person to blame is me. Um, the next one I do will be a heck of a lot better. I figured out my issues, my problems, um, what happened, what I did wrong. Um, and I'll never do it again. I'll tell you that right now. Never again. But... We are going to get into our yeehaw dunkel. Um, last time I got you, I brought you guys um, the uh, untr the uh, triple um, there out of Florida. It was the copper tail. Um, and while that triple was unholy, it was good. So we are going to bring it with a little dunkel today. Whoo, baby, that is dark. That is a dark beer for sure, folks. One of the darkers I've had, and that is for sure there. Um, this one is a Munich Dunkel-style dark lager. Uh, it is 5.5% ABV. Um, not true tremendous, you know, for a dark. Um, goes down pretty easy there. Uh, it's 25 IBUs, hoppiness at the minimum on this one. Now, this does happen to be a World Beer Cup winner. Bronze Award from 2016 in the European-style Dark uh, Münchner Dunkel. So, it's pretty darn good, guys. We'll give it a little pour here, see how it goes. Wow, mama. That is some dark stuff, and look at the head on that. That's what you say when I go places. My father, you would uh, look and be like, look at the head on that. His friends, me, anybody, just, I mean, it, it, my friends, it was just crazy. I have no idea what in the world, hey, look at the hit on that. Like, what the heck does that, I have no idea. I don't know what it means. N no clue. No clue what it means, but it was just always a saying. It stuck with me. It probably always will, uh, but I, I was told that a lot, so that's probably why it sticks with me so much. Just look at the hit on that. Don't know if it's because you're ugly or you got a nice, I, 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 I don't know. Don't know. Huh. You guys know, good to the last drop. That's just how, how I roll, you know? Just how we do it. So what we've got here, um, like I said, is the Yeehaw Dunkel. Uh, the Munich Dunkel style dark. Uh, this one from the brewer here. Rich, deep, and complex. Our Dunkel is many things, but heavy isn't one of them. I agree completely. This award-winning classic German style dark lager is the beer that started it all for our brewery. Congrats, guys. You got a good dark. Take the time to savor it slowly, and you'll find flavors of biscuits, cocoa, 
and caramel to enjoy life on the dark side, just say yeehaw. You'll say it when you drink it. And hey guys, I'll give you this. You guys do make a good dark beer. It is a fine southern dark beer. Done with my southern, my, my southern drow that I've got, y'all. Yeehaw! Um, but yeah, like I said, this is Johnson City, Tennessee stuff here um, out of Yeehaw um, Brewing Company. Um, and it's a dunkel. Uh, it is good. 5.5 ABV, 25 on the IBUs. You get some roastedness, some maltiness there on the nose. A little bit of sweetness. I mean, maybe a little bit of that molasses coming through. I mean, that's the sweetness. Usually when I, when I get a sweetness with the darks, um, a lot of the times molasses comes through hell. A lot of the time molasses comes through on a majority of them, truthfully. This one has a little bit of that biscuity sweetness there to it. Um, a little bit of sweetness. Now, I get that... Get that biscuitiness there. Um, taste of biscuit. The very beginning, I get some a lot of cocoa. Um, and even now, I get some of that after. A little bit of that bitterness of, the, of like a dark chocolate, you know, per se. I'm just getting a, a lot of roastedness. Um, caramel cocoa a little bit of that biscuit in there I, i'm trying to figure out but it, it just has a like a, a bit of, a taste of like a bitter nut almost like a little bit in there um like maybe a black walnut or something but it's just not not quite it's very faint um it's just a slight hint so it's just kind of like mm, i don't know if it's in there or not i don't know if i'm just trying to find it or what um so i don't know for sure there at all Decent burp. Not gonna be rude by any means. Um, now this one, like I said, I'm not really a dark um, beer guy by any means. Um, I, I'm one of those that I try anything. This one had a, just a, a mellow, just whoo, green label. Um, I've never had anything out of Tennessee, so I wanted to try something. Um, cool to find out that this is their, the beer that started it all for them. Um, what was this one? It is good. Um, it is a drinkable beer. Um, me more so, I look at these and I'm like, uh, I think of a lumberjack, a dude with a beard, um, just a rugged guy drinking, drinking a dunkel or a triple, uh, a, a dunkel. I do. I just think of a, just a, a guy like that, just a, a man's man or whatever you want to call it. Um, not a skinny guy like myself, um, by any means. Um, but... I, I, this is a good beer, guys. I mean, I could sit and drink it, like, no problem. I, I could sit and drink fine beer, truthfully, because just, I like beer. Beer's good. Just, it's good. I like it. What else can you say, you know? Uh, but this one, as far as listings go, I mean, we do have uh, the, the 25 so far. This is episode 26, like I said. Um, this is a top, I mean, it's a top, I'd say probably looking at a top 15. Um, I mean, I'd say it's there, um, probably there, not there, um, so, in, in all honesty, I mean, I'm just gonna deal with it, it's weird, it's crazy, but... don't mind me, I talk to myself all the time, um, but this is good, guys, this is, uh, the Yeehaw Dunkle, um, the Dunkel. Um, they're Johnson City, Tennessee, Yeehaw Brewing. Um, this is an independent, like many of the ones I do, guys. I just that's just kind of how I roll. I kind of like doing things that are off the mainstream. Um, highly doubt um, you will ever see me do a Budweiser, a Bud Light, a Coors Light, a Miller Light, a Miller, a Coors, um, or any of those. Honestly, um, just not my forte. I had enough of them when I was under the age of 21, so I really don't need to, to peruse or, or even deal with it now. Um, 
when I turned 21, it was pretty much Bud Light and all that. I mean, commercial beers just aren't me, guys. I just, I've never been commercial beers for the past 17 years. I don't choose to be commercial beers. I mean, I just... I prefer a better beer, and I can't say for the past 17, because right when I was 21, I couldn't afford good beer, um, so I had to drink Bud Light and Coors Light and, and the water beer that we have. Um, so I didn't really get my chance to really jump out there and adventure completely. Um, I did start when I was 21, but it was kind of just like, a man, I'm 21 now, I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to get any kind of weird beer. Um, and had some crazy ones. I uh, had the Bigfoot barley wine. That is still one of the strongest, freaking worst, worst possible beers I've ever had in my life. No offense to Sierra Nevada, but that barley wine, Bigfoot back in uh, tw- uh, 2003. Uh, so 2003. Um, that stuff just, oof, oof, probably still, man. Oof. I, every time I even see that stuff, I just, just I cringe. I cringe all the freaking time. It was the worst possible beer I've ever had in my freaking life. Like, ever. 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 Just some straight freaking... Ah! Man. But yeah, I, I, and I'll do this. I will go. I, I will... I will resist it or yeah i will resist the urge to just like vomit all over the place when i see it again uh i will tr- i will try to just get one bottle of it i'm not about to buy a six pack but if i can get one bottle of sierra nevada bigfoot barley wine ale i will get one and i will either age it or i will drink it right right then and there here on on my show here um, but one or the other i will i will give it another chance i will give it a second chance because every beer every beer folks deserves a second chance every beer every beer deserves a second chance all of them. and thank you all for going on with my tangent with me um we are going to get back to the yeehaw dunkle which i was reviewing and critiquing before this is a good dark beer guys if you like guinness you will love this beer because this beer kicks the the, the kicks kicks the crap out of Guinness. This beer is way better than Guinness. Way, way, way better. Still getting that roasted maltiness on the nose, boys and girls. A nice foaminess. A little bit of that bitterness. um, That cocoa little bit of that biscuit some caramel guys this is a good dark beer if you like dark beers that is for sure and like i said if you're a guinness person you absolutely love this stuff because it's it's right up your alley for sure um now me not necessarily so much but on this guys i'm open i'm i'm a open guy here and i'm gonna jump outside of the box and i'm gonna try new things so never had anything from tennessee what I'm getting some from Tennessee. I happened to stumble upon this. Got it. It is good. Right there. Came a little hoppiness. I apologize. Excuse me. But, folks, uh, I'm getting ready to shut it down. Um, This beer right here, it is hitting number 13 now um, in our listing of beers. Uh, This was the Yeehaw Dunkle. If you guys get a chance, try uh, something from the Yeehaw Brewing Company. Uh, This is the only one I've had. I will be trying other selections if I find them, that is for sure. But this stuff, guys, definitely give it a try. And like I always say, if you don't like it, send it my way. I will trade you. I will pay you. You can give it to me out of the kindness of your heart. I appreciate that as well. Um, But I'm going to be bringing you guys all kinds of more stuff and more stuff because i'm just going to keep going outside the box and outside the box and bringing something new to you guys bringing something different to you guys that you might not have maybe you have had and if you had please comment let me know what you think if you've never had it go out and try it if you have please comment let me know guys i'm going to keep bringing it to you i'm going to keep trying my best Uh, i do appreciate everything all comments criticism everything and i just want to let you guys know think outside the box Keep everyone out there. Just keep them in your minds, keep them in your hearts, keep them in your souls, everybody. Peace, love, and happiness. That's another thing I can preach as well. 
So everybody, this is Derek Egler. I'm going to keep rambling on because I'm just a madman right now. You get a chance, guys. Get the Yeehaw Dunkle number 13 on our list right here. Keep on drinking. Derek Egler for episode 26 of What's on Tap. We are out.